Hi, this is Quant Namat. Welcome to my channel. A few videos ago, I uh, showed you a new feature in uh, PineScript uh, where you can create alerts directly from strategy without converting them to a study. And in this video, I will uh, show you how using the same feature you can create really fancy and complicated alerts in a trading view. So here I already created an alert. Let's go and check out uh, settings. So basically what I do here, I just edit my web URL and uh, to alert the Tron um, URL and all my alerts will go directly to my Telegram. If you want to check how to automate that, I can have, I have another video about that. And also let's check out message. So here you have, you have kind of standard stuff. You, you have by, by standard when you create an alert, you can uh, add another placeholder here. And then I separately here, I added a strategy dot order alert message a placeholder. And this is a really cool feature, as I told you in that video, it's dynamic and using this um, placeholder, you can create really fancy and very complicated alerts. And also added my Telegram uh, hashtag to uh, redirect this to Telegram. As you can see, it's quite simple. So now let's go and check out the code. So to use uh, this alert message uh, placeholder, you have to specify alert message for your um, strategy.enter or strategy.close function. So basically for all order functions you use. And this alert message can be pretty complicated. And as you can see here, I composed quite complicated one. So basically I have series of strings, you know, separated by pluses. So basically I kind of concatenate multiple strings this uh, slash n is basically new line. So I will see a kind of a next message on the new line. And I'm using kind of things like to string to convert like numbers um, to strings and also add up to my uh, to, to, to my string to my message. And uh, using this kind of functionality, you can create really very complicated stuff. So for example, you can actually pass some information about your your position, basically what was close in time of alert, uh, firing alert, so basically order field. What was the previous uh, signal, you know, like you can calculate basically some uh, profit targets dynamically, just, you know, like your multiplier open to to some, uh, you know, like multiplier, how many percent you want it to be above or below your, your uh, price. And this will work fine for you as well. You can specify multiple targets, stop loss if you want. There's no problem with that. Um, the only issue is that if you use like market order, I think your alert will be fired for the current bar, but trade will be executed at open of the next bar. So you don't know the open of the next bar. So it's a bit tricky here, but I think it might work for you if you use uh, like stop or limit orders pretty nicely. Also, you can calculate and add multiple values for your indicators. So here, for example, I add like moving average uh, uh, value of my moving average, RSI, MACD, MACD signal, MACD histogram, and you can add much more fun stuff. So you can use UTF-8 uh, like symbols to insert multiple fancy symbols here. And um, also you can even use UTF-8 uh, kind of like other symbols to create some sort of even kind of tables here with using kind of text art to create some sort of tables if you want. It, it, it actually works a bit tricky, so you need to play around with it to have really nice layout, but it's also possible. So now let's go to my um, Alertatron bot and see how uh, this alert looks like. And as you can see, it looks uh, pretty good. So we have quite a lot of information. So basically you can insert here even more information. It will be present here very nicely as well. So, you know, information about position indicators and you know like other stuff I inserted here and as you can see here this table I try to plot here it's not uh, presented really nicely here you need to play around with it to find out how to make it better but I think anyway it's really nice uh, way to really create very complicated very rich information alerts in uh, trading view so I think that's all for this video thank you for watching bye